Welcome to our course on how to take still pictures and videos, edit them, clean them up, and present them in a uh, coherent, uh, professional looking video using only free Microsoft software. Um, this course is designed for people with Windows Vista and Windows 7 or newer. And uh, let's get started. The first thing you need to have is Windows Live Movie Maker. And uh, if you don't already have the 2011 version, uh, what you do is download it. It's pretty easy. Go to Internet Explorer and type in download.live.com. Download.live.com. And you'll get immediately to here. And you click on Download Now. Uh, you run this little program, and what it will do is it will um, let you choose a number of uh, products uh, that you can download from Microsoft for free or run from Microsoft for free. As you can see here, Messenger, Mesh, a uh, bunch of good stuff here. Uh, but all we care about for the purpose of this meeting is uh, Live movie, mo movie Maker. So make sure that's installed. Make sure it's the 2011 version. The next thing to do is to go to download.com, which is actually CNET. And um, download.com will get you paint.net if you type in paint.net. So we're going to go there. And it's usually the first hit. There it is. And you just want to click Download Now, which, again, we don't actually want to do. And then you would just want to pull that down. And uh, Paint.net's a wonderful little tool for doing uh, um, even sophisticated editing. But for the minute, we'll just use it for basic editing. OK, so assuming you have those down, which I do, let's get on our way. The, f uh, the next thing to do is to take your source content and uh, get it all together. Uh, so you can see here I've created a clever folder called Video Course. And in here I have uh, some ski trip photos. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. So let's go take a look. So I've got uh, a bunch of uh, videos. I have uh, three diff uh, pictures from three different sets of people, which is why their names are all weird. Uh, I have uh, a, uh, an Apple uh, MOV file, I have, uh, which is movie. I even have some BlackBerry um, videos in here, which I think are labeled uh, GP. They're, they're .GP files. Uh, regardless, yeah, there they are, three GP. And these are just off my BlackBerry. This system will accept uh, almost any uh, video format that uh, that isn't uh, you know locked down like a DVD or um, you know that type of stuff. But anything you're going to pull off your regular cameras is probably going to work here. Okay, so um, one now this is really the toughest part is putting all of the video and all of the pictures together into a single place. Now because we are going to going to delete some of these. I recommend you take a copy of it. So you can see I've taken a copy here. I've just dragged over with my right mouse button and selected copy here. And that's literally just going to take a copy. I've already got that here. And um, uh, in addition to uh, sourcing my pictures from different people and putting them into one place, I've also gone and pulled down a bunch of graphics from websites. So um, there's some Lake Louise stuff, some Arcus stuff. Um, you know, there it is. We also uh, have sourced some music. Now I'm going to go into this in a little bit more detail in the future, but if you're planning to push your video up to uh, the web, uh, in particular into YouTube, you are going to have the audio checked and as such, you cannot use any copyrighted materials. When I say that, it's not an opinion or geez, you know, maybe you think you'll get away with it. It will be checked and it will be blocked. YouTube will reject it. So don't bother to try. So what you want to do, um, if you don't have any, uh, sorry, what you need to do is get some uh, free music. Uh, when I say free, I'm speaking of royalty free, some non-copyrighted content. So there's a number of places to get that. Uh, I've already downloaded a whole pile of stuff uh, for me to goof with. Uh, but for you, if you want to pull it down yourself, there's a bunch of places. Uh, you could Google royalty free music, or you could just go to uh, Jamendo, what is it, Jamendo.com. Uh, which you can see uh, in the top right hand corner here. So let me just zoom in a little bit there. See that? So gemendo.com. And uh, what you want to do then is immediately go to music and click on tags. And in tags, you'll get all the different types of music. So say you wanted, um, let's say you wanted drum music. So let's click on drum. And there'll be a whole pile of albums here that you can just download for free. You don't have to register with these guys, which is great. Um, yeah, it's a nice system. Um, and again, all of this music is apparently royalty free and uh, eligible therefore for YouTube and uh, you're on your way. So I'm going to close this because we don't need it anymore. Now let's get on to actually doing the editing. So uh, in the video course copy, again, I've just taken a copy of this content because I am going to delete some uh, files here and I don't want to touch my originals. I'm going to go into here and um, 
Normally, this is the way it's going to look for you, which is, you know, there's a bunch of different files and you really can't see them. In Windows Vista, there's a button up here that's labeled uh, View. In Windows 7, they've, for some inexplicable reason, moved it over here and made it smaller. Uh, what you want to do is take it, take the scroll bar and make it uh, uh, scroll to the top to extra large icons. Uh, then make it full screen. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and delete a couple of junk ones uh, like that. Uh, I'm going to, uh, this one's no good, it's from a completely unrelated event, it's gone. This one's kind of useless. Um, you want to get rid of duplicates, you want to get rid of any junk you've got. This one I can see needs to be rotated. I'm just going to right click on it because in Vista and 7 you can just right click and choose rotate clockwise or counterclockwise right in Windows. So I'm going to do counterclockwise to straighten that one up. Uh, this one I know has to be rotated the same way, it's wrong. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, let me scroll down. I've got, uh, I must have a bunch of stuff I don't need. That one I don't want to have. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean out the rest of these by myself. But as I said, you can do a lot of core editing here. So gone through and deleted the junk files. I've rotated a bunch that I know needed to be, need to be rotated. Oh, here's another one I missed. I'll right click and rotate uh, counterclockwise in this case to fix it. Um, and I'm not going to fix all of them right now. I'm just going to fix a bunch of them so you can, uh, well, we'll see what, what editing we can do in the main program a little bit later. So I'm going to um, um, look at, say, this file. This one is just too dark. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select open with and I'm going to choose paint.net. And that will let me edit this with paint.net, which is pretty clever, huh? And I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to go to brightness and I just want to make this thing brighter. It's just too dark to see what's in it. So there we go. So at least I can see what's in here now. And I'm going to click OK. And this one I'm going to also go up to the top left hand corner here and choose the rectangle select. And I'm just going to crop out the, uh, the um, server because as nice as she is, we, we just don't care. So um, let's get those three people in there. And I'm going to do image crop to selection. And that will clean that up for me. There it is. I'm done with that one, so I'm going to uh, save it. I'm just going to click the save and OK. And uh, really, those are the two things you want to do over and over again. So let's do a couple more. I'll minimize this. I'm going to um, let's go fix another one. Let's go to this one and edit it. Now, again, I've already got it open with paint.net, so we're on our way. This one I can see really isn't useful, so I'm just going to go up here and close it. And I'm going to actually go back here now and delete it. Uh, this one's not nice, so I'm going to go, uh, again, I can go open with paint.net and boom there it is but again it's kind of weird with uh, the way it's been centered so I'm going to use the rectangle select and I'm going to um, select that bit right there I'm going to do image crop to selection and then I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to do the brightness and just fix that up a bit oh, that's not too bad there we go yeah that's a decent picture there we go now let's keep going here. I'm going to go through, uh, that one's a little dark, but uh, I think it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so this one's a little bit dark. I'm going to go edit this one and just make it brighter. Okay, so you get the idea. The big things in here are the crop tool and the brightness. And um, there we go. So I'm going to make that like that. Uh, when I'm done these, I'm going to press the X. Well, let's say I'm done now. I'm going to press the X and I'm going to select Save It. It's going to ask me how what the quality is. I'll just leave it at the default. Then I'm going to ask me for the next one. So I've tried to close it. Saving. We're all happy. There we go. Now they're done. And it will update these thumbnails and we're on our way. Uh, I'm going to take another pause. I'm going to finish the rest of these off and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have a little more editing to do here. I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to open with paint.net. And in, my, uh, inter in the interim there, I edited about 15 of them. I've just got a few more left to do. So I'm going to uh, image rotate this one. Again, there's lots of ways to rotate these things. So I'm going to rotate it forward, which is clockwise. And I want to get uh, this guy's head. So as soon as it's done, I'm going to take the uh, crop tool. And I'm going to pin it down so I just get Ross's head. And I'm going to do image crop to selection. And it's going to cut out some of the garbage that's around it. There you go. So that's Ross. And he looks pretty angry. It looks, looks like he's got some snow cap going on there. Anyway, that's fine. Now uh, I'm going to save these. So again, it's, I'm going to close them. It's going to say, what do you want to do? And I'll save them all. I'll just do these all one by one. And I'll pause while I do this so you don't have to wait and watch this.
Okay, so now what you need to do is go through your uh, videos and see if there's anything in anything in your videos that um, or any of your videos that are just garbage and shouldn't be maintained. So I've got three videos in here, and uh, when I say go through them, I mean double click on them and watch them, and see if they're just garbage or whether there's something useful in it that uh, you know that extends your story. Um, I've already watched these, so I'm going to skip through it. But these are all okay, uh, and uh, there we go. If they're garbage. If they don't expand your story, get rid of them. And one thing to keep in mind is that the limit on YouTube is 15 minutes. So make sure that your video is less than 15 minutes or it won't be uploaded, it won't be accepted. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the preparatory work. What we're going to do now is go into uh, Windows Live Movie Maker and start editing. So I'm going to call that uh, part two and we'll continue in just a moment. If you can just skip off to part two now.